Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Alex George. Welcome to My Smile Kitchen. This is my renovation project in my cottages in Wales. I'm excited to talk you through my decision-making process and also the fantastic service I had from Smile Kitchens too. I'm from uh, West Wales. I was brought up in Carmarthenshire. Um, I, my childhood was in Pembrokeshire along the beaches, enjoying places like Newgale. That's literally my childhood. Um, you know, that, that upbringing of, of enjoying the countryside and peace and nature was just incredible. And what I wanted to do was to, first of all, give my parents a, a project now that they've uh, retired, uh, and also create a space that people can come and enjoy this incredible place that is West Wales. You know, Pembrokeshire, um, you know, Pembrokeshire relies hugely on tourism and people coming to visit and we want to show how amazing this place truly is. So I had four cottages um, and I wanted to basically transform them and bring them back to life and to bring them to a really nice standard that people come and enjoy the space, enjoy the relaxation and support their mental health while having hopefully a nice break. Anthony and Jane, my mum and dad, um, they've retired. I really wanted to give them a, a project to focus on. They uh, live in the main house. Uh, these cottages are effectively converted uh, barn houses or cattle houses on, on the land. Um, they're kind of more kind of for uh, relatively smallish, but not too small, apartments. Um, and we needed to maximise the space within them to create that kind of feel of comfort and luxury and relaxation. And the reason that um, the reason that I wanted to work with a company like Smart Kitchens was important that we reduce as much stress as possible because it can be really stressful doing projects. But you need companies that can rely on, who can do it properly, uh, who, are, who are reliable. And uh, you know, for my parents, you know, they, they wanted a project, but I also didn't want to make them really stressed and greater than they need to be. So um, yeah, they they really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. Um, I think particularly what we were glad about with the kitchens is that. You know, we wanted something. The two big things for us is we wanted um, a kitchen that felt like high quality. It felt um, something special, something nice, uh, but also it had a durability as well. Because um, whether some of these cottages will have longer term uh, um, stays or whether it's going to be uh, four holiday lets, it doesn't matter. They need to be durable. Um, it's all very well a kitchen looking nice, but it's not functional. It's not durable. It's kind of pointless. Um, so that was a big thing for me. Look, I first became aware of Smile Kitchens just after the pandemic. I think that was when our first conversations happened about collaborating on this project. Um, and I can understand people's hesitancy sometimes of like, oh, how are you going to buy something if you don't see it in person? But to be honest, when you go to a showroom, they're not really re representative of the, your kitchen. That isn't your space. So it's very hard to compare something that isn't the space you're in and it isn't the setup of your kitchen. What is incredible with technology now, you get this 3D image of your actual space uh, so these designers take your space, they build a 3D Im image of your kitchen, including the kind of components and things you want, including the kind of surfaces and so on, and you get a real visualisation of what that's like. You also get um, uh, samples of what's going to be in your kitchen. So when you're working with your designer from Smile Kitchens, um, once you've kind of established what you're looking for and they really work out what you want from that space, you then get the uh, material sent through. So you can have a feel of them, you know, you know what, what you're getting, you know, all the way from, um, you know, your, your uh, handles and so on um, to the, the actual cupboard surfaces as well. So you kind of get a real idea essentially of, of what it is that's going into your kitchen. You can see online what it's going to look like. And for me, I, I don't personally see that you have to go to a showroom. You know, that's that everything is in the box really. So once we were assigned a designer uh, through Smart Kitchens, we then worked through a process of having appointments to talk through like what, what is it that we want. Obviously we provided measurements, provided photos of the space that allowed the designers to go away and have a real think of the concept and what it can look like. Um, and then really, what I found really helpful is that, you know, I'm not an expert in kitchens, I'm not a designer. Um, so really you want to feel like you're led through the process, that you have obviously your ability to give and say what you want, but also that you can trust someone to do what they know effectively, that's what you want. Um, and, and so, you know, I felt really confident I could say, look, I want it to be light, I want it to be practical, I want, you know, as many little uh, utilizations, I guess, of the space or whatever, like clever little cupboard tricks you have to make the space practical and usable is great, but it really has to, to, to last as well. And, you know, essentially we had appointments, the design process was that the, 
that the spaces were were taken. They were they mocked up. We had these three D images that we could um, that we could see, and yeah, any tweaks we wanted to make, they were, those were very easy. It was very simple. The great thing with the three D images as well is you can really look and think, oh, is that practical? Does that look right? Should we move that to another part, or is there a way we can make more space within that? And I really feel that that was a conversation, and it was quite simple, really, actually, to make the the changes we want to. And we quickly came to. Um, a decision that we were happy with and the kitchen that we were really happy with and uh, from then on it was yeah pretty straightforward to be honest. What I thought was really clever and I didn't realise is that when smart kitchens do their 3D walkthroughs it's not just the kitchen itself but it's the space which is really important because obviously the kitchen needs to relate and be comfortable and actually fit within the rest of the room. It needs to feel like it all makes sense so you can walk through not just the thickness of the covers and surfaces but you can have a feel of that kitchen space and the rest of the room, which is brilliant because you know I knew then that we were achieving the goal we wanted to, that kind of light, open, bright and spacious feel. I was really happy with all the support and the service I've received from Smart Kitchens. They were brilliant with us. We had a, our own carpenter who was working across the whole project. He fitted the kitchens. He was really pleased with, with how clear it was in terms of you know this is what needs to be built this is how it needs to be done everything came as it should have done it was so easy if we had any questions it was easy to you know be in contact uh, with um, the designer or the team because a lot of people worry that if people are online can you speak to them and you can you know, the human beings it might be online the human beings that you can get in touch with which is really important because sometimes you just want to ask a question and say oh we got this right is this in the right is this the right kind of um, fit or is this the right <coughs> steps that we're taking and that, that's really helpful, it's really important to feel that you know throughout the whole process you're not just sitting in the kitchen you're like oh you know I've got to deal with this myself now and um, so really fantastic start to finish brilliant I can't you know I can't fault I can't fault them. I'm not saying that I've built loads of places and whatever I'm an expert in development but you know I've, I've renovated uh, in the past my parents I've grown up with them kind of renovating houses that's where we started with a small <coughs> essentially a council flat and worked up to a kind of a, a kind of a standard size home I guess um, they kind of did lots of projects along the way to be able to, you know, buy, renovate, add a bit of value, sell, to be able to step up. You know, we weren't, didn't grow up with uh, lots of money, we were okay, but we didn't have the ability just to buy the dream home, if you like. You had to kind of do those steps. So I kind of saw and learned a lot from that along the way. Um, but it's so helpful to have, you know, my parents there to kind of have that background of understanding as well. They've done more projects than I have collaborating together. It's really nice as a family as well to have something that you're working on. You know, because I do think it's um, there's something beautiful about getting something that is, you know, these cottages were really particularly livable. Um, they were in, in quite a bad state. They were in desperate need of a big sort out. And there's a real sense of satisfaction of taking something from almost uninhabitable to something that is an amazing space. I mean, I'm very proud of what we've created. I think it's, it's a beautiful place to, to be and spend time. So um, the carpenters did the fit. So um, you know, I asked them how they found the process, and you know, they said that they were very happy that it was clear. The instructions they had what they needed. All the kind of individual boxes were kind of labelled. It was obvious as to what component was what and how it fits it together. And they said it was really straightforward, which is which is good because obviously they fit kitchens and they they carpenters. They do this a lot of the time, so they know when word accompanying maybe is more difficult or you don't get what you receive or it's not how you're expecting so you know I think that's pretty good feedback from from them to be honest. When you walk around the kitchen I mean for example the one that's behind us in the green cottage and um, closing the doors it's got soft clothes the doors feel firm and heavy the handles are solid and um, uh, the work surface as well you know you, you can feel that everything is built to last and um, there's a feel of quality to it and I think that's a good test of uh, of, of whether it will last and I'm confident that uh, you know in years to come they will still be in good shape. So each cottage, um, the, the four cottages, we've got yellow, orange, green and blue and each of them have tried to bring an element of nature into them. So this is the green cottage, that, through the colours and the walls, through the feel of the room, I've tried to create a tranquil space that people can come relax and genuinely unwind. That's what it's all about, it's coming here, you know, this is your base, you've got Pembrokeshire outside of your front door to go and enjoy and this space is to to relax after hopefully spending a day on the beach or walking the coastal paths and you know that's that's basically what I wanted to create and every aspect of that each cottage 
plays into that. You know, from the, the moment you open the front door to you know when you close your eyes to go to sleep at night, everything that you experience is going to affect that. And clearly, one of the biggest parts of people's holidays is sitting down with the family, having something to eat at the dinner table, cooking food in the kitchen. So you want all of that experience to feel nice, to feel calming, to feel intuitive and relaxing. And um, yeah, I'm hopeful that and, and confident that when people are using this kitchen, they'll feel, do you know what, this, I feel like home from home almost. That it makes sense, things are where they should be, and you're not stressing about where the utensils are kept and so on, so yeah. Look, you know, I've, I've collaborated with you guys on this project and I think, you know, people watching will absolutely know that. So I think, well, you know, is he going to he's going to be truthful? Is he going to say they're brilliant for the sake of it? You know, I can honestly say I'm really, really impressed. You know, I won't say people will follow me and they'll follow my Instagram. They will know that I will always say what I think about something. And I, it's very important to be authentic and true. And um, I wouldn't have this interview if we weren't, if I wasn't happy with the with the end result. And you know, I think you guys have been brilliant. You know, I think to start a company in the way that you have, um, to focus so much on kind of design led uh, quality and service. You know, I think that is a really, you know, it's a really good way to be as a company. I think moving forward now, with what people want, they want to know that they can trust companies, that they're going to be what they say they are. And um, so yeah, I've been really impressed, really, really happy. Um, we're very proud to have all the kitchens, um, the smart kitchens. And as I say, I'm hoping that, and I'm sure that they're going to last a good period of time. We won't be having you back in time soon. But don't take, don't take offense uh, to that. It's, uh, you've done a really good job. I absolutely would recommend smart. I already have, um, some of my friends have, are doing, uh, um, some projects of their own. Um, one friend is redoing his own kitchen. I said, look, take a look at it. I think people often are afraid initially of that, oh, can I go and see it? It's online. But when they realize the steps at which you go through and the level of, um, I guess the level you go to, to basically make people really feel that they do understand what they're getting, I think they feel much more comfortable with that. And to be honest, as generations go, um, as we become comfortable with tech and online and realize that actually for this kind of thing, it really is brilliant, people are gonna use, uh, people are gonna use it more and more. So yeah, absolutely, I recommend you guys. So I mean, often with these things, um, where influencers work with a brand, um, you'll get, when you refer someone or someone uses a code, you'll get money back for it. But it's really important to me that, well, A, I'm very lucky that you guys are supporting me with this kitchen, but also I want to make sure that, um, you know, I'm giving back to uh, the wider community. And obviously my passion is about mental health. So um, if you use the code Young Minds 100, you get 100 pounds back yourself off the kitchen, 100 pounds off the kitchen, but also 100 pounds will go to Young Minds, which to me is really important. Well, probably the charity that I probably work most closely with. Um, they do amazing work in the sector for mental health. So it's kind of nice that, you know, you know that you're kind of, as well as getting a great kitchen, you're, you're supporting an amazing cause as well. So please do use that code if you're gonna get uh, the kitchen, clearly 100 pounds off, 100 pound off, and, uh, and also you're supporting great cause. So this smart kitchen range is the yard range. It's finished in the Tusk. That's a light gray uh, coloring. We've got a silver haze uh, as the work tops. Uh, and we've got the brushed brass as the the handle. So essentially, I wanted something that was that was really light, um, you know, in the cottages. Um, I, what I would say, one of my favourite features actually, as you go around each of the kitchens, is the feeling of uh, that quality. So closing the doors, it's got the soft close. There's nothing more annoying than banging doors. You know, coming on holiday, last thing you hear is the kids banging the doors in the morning, right? So it's got a soft close. You've also got clever um, solutions for for space as well. So in all of the kitchens, as I said, you've got different challenges, we've got a little corner we've got to optimise, uh, and finding storage solutions is important, so being able to put in you know, as much um, you know, pasta and breads and whatever that you need during your stay, while you know, not having it all over the place. So essentially trying to use good solutions to, to maximise the space, but I'm really happy, I think it really works. I love the, the light surface, that silver haze gives it the light, kind of slight silver finish to it. It's a matte surface as well, which I like, You've got a seamless uh, joint as well, which basically means that if you look around the kitchen, you don't have an eyesore of a, of a line there with the two joints come together. Within the actual sink area, you've got these uh, integrated uh, slits uh, for uh, drainage. Uh, and also, important to say as well, these are highly heat resistant. Um, you, what you don't want is putting a, a pan on a surface and it melting through your worktop. It's not good on your holiday, is it? So um, they're highly heat resistant. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, I love the kitchen, um, and if you don't believe me, I mean, come and stay in Jameson, Tenby. Uh, look up Rosemary Cottage. It's Rosemary, Bluebell, Clementine, and Primrose. 
cottage. So we started with naming them one, two, three, and four. Then it was uh, orange, green, yellow, and blue. And then we've uh, lifted those names into using nice names of, of, uh, of, of what is it? What's the word? Flowers. Flowers, yeah. Foliage. Foliage. So we went from calling them orange, green, and so on to using nice uh, names of flowers and so on. So that's how we kind of identify them. And, and really that theme is carried through, like this, the green theme, we've got the green wall that's painted here, the brick wall, a lot of the furniture will either be green or bits of art in green or the, you know, the painted wall in the room. And it creates that kind of real feel of uniqueness. Um, and uh, you know, these, these kitchens, I guess, provide the kind of center point for that kind of, yeah, flair that we've applied throughout the cottages. So very happy.